Hey guys, it's Asian in the Virgin Islands and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Amplitude Envelope or ADSR to create different types of sounds in your synthesizer. Now in this example, I'm going to be using a polysynth, an ESP polysynth, which produces sound using subtractive synthesis, meaning you're subtracting portions of the different waveforms that are generated in the oscillator section of your synth to create new sound. So let's just jump right into the amplitude envelope, which you'll find is right here on this interface. The first type of sound we're going to produce is a switch type of sound, which functions, functions like an on and off switch, giving you a sound similar to the sound of like a Hammond organ. Here you hit the sound and it comes on and as soon as you release it, the sound is off. So let's configure it so that we get that sound. Here is the default setting in this interface. <laughs> So it sounds very synthy, um, but we're going to try and configure this amplitude envelope to give it a switch sound. To do that, we make sure the attack is set at zero. The decay time doesn't actually matter because the sustain time is going to be set at 100%. And then we're going to set, set the release time at zero. So you can hear it gives you a sustaining pitch for as long as you press it but as soon as you release the key, it's off. If you get any clicks in this type of configuration, you can increase the attack and release times so that it gives you a little, a little attack and release so that you don't have any clicks coming through your DAW. Moving right along, we're gonna jump into the sustaining type of sound. To do a sustaining type of sound, you're gonna wanna set your attack at between zero and 10%, set your decay from between zero and 10% as well, your sustain time is going to be anywhere between 50 and 90%. And your release time is going to be set from 0 to 10%. The sustaining type of sound is basically like a blowing or a bowing sound, similar to a string or brass, where you're adding energy across the course of the note. That's why you want to kind of increase the release time, because in real life, the sustained note kind of hangs after you release the energy from them. So let's see if it gives us a sound like a blowing or a bowing. Okay, yeah, it kind of sounds a bit like a trumpet. So there you go. That's how you configure a sustaining type of sound. And now we're going to go into a percussive sound. To do that, you want to set your attack at zero. You decay between 10 and 80%. So let's bring it up to about 50%. Your sustain is going to be at zero as well. And here you're going to want to set your release time to your decay time. And in, that, in this example, the decay time is going to control the length of the note. And because the sustain is set at zero um, and the release is set to the decay, it's going to sound similar to an instrument that is plucked or hit in real life. So let's see if it gives us that kind of sound. Okay, it kind of hangs on just a little bit. It gives you that kind of guitar plucking kind of sound. Um, and I'm sure if you configure the waveform to sound more like a guitar, you might get that kind of sound. But that's a percussive um, uh, amplitude envelope in any synthesizer. You're going to want to set it around these kinds of, um, set the parameters around these amounts. And then jumping into the damped percussive sound here, all you got to do is drop the release to 0%. And this is going to create, still going to create that plucking or hit sound where it peaks once, but it's basically going to have a very quick release time, which gives that gives it that damped kind of sound. And let's hear how it sounds. So it kind of dampens that percussive sound. So if you're going for that effect, just drop down the release time, the the release amount to zero percent. Lastly, we have the quirk envelope, which loud and showed us in the video, which basically is um, a unique example where you have the attack time set at zero, the decay time set between 10 and 30 percent, the sustain time set at, the sustain amount um, so set, it, set at zero, and the release between 50 and 100 percent. So when you press the note for a long period of time, a sustain note, you actually get a very short blip. But if you press it quickly, you kind of get a bounce back up in the amplitude and that is the quirk kind of configuration in the synthesizer in your amplitude envelope i hope that you learned how to create these types of sounds um, so have fun enjoy